What's up guys, the Merry Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3. I was about to say something else, as I normally do accidentally, then I always have to redo the intro. <laughs> I don't know, I always stumble the intros, I do so many different things now that it's so annoying that sometimes you accidentally say the wrong thing. Um, but anyway... We've done a few things at the base, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys. There's been actually a little bit of a gap in between the last episode and this one in recording time. Um, I kind of recorded the first six episodes really, really close, kind of, or not first six, probably like first four really close together, and then um, five and six kind of close together. And then afterwards, um, it's been a bit of a break because I've, doing, doing, I've been doing a whole bunch of off-camera stuff and um, fiddling around with a few things, and I'm ready to show you guys what I'm doing. So, let's get into it. So, this is what the base looks like. You're probably looking around going, well, it looks a bit different. So, <laughs> um, ignore this. This, is just, this was just a whole lava for a time. Um, I don't remember placing that. Okay. Uh, so, as you can see, we had our... Auto compressor and an auto sieve set up, I think, in the last episode. We set it up on our platform over there where the uh, grass is. And, um, sorry, I just best, almost had, like, the hiccups. I'm trying to, like, suppress them. <laughs> um, and as you can see, we've got, like, a kind of nice setup at the moment going here. So, um, we got a whole bunch of cobble going through here, which is then going into here, which is getting compressed into gravel. And then, um, i got two... St two stacks of compressed gravel that goes through that so that's 18 stacks of gravel so it does take a little bit of time that doesn't do too much damage on these diamond hammers which i am pretty proud of um i haven't really used the auto sieve at the moment because i need the heavy sieve because i'm doing a lot of compressed stuff now so i kind of i want to make eventually make up a setup where we have like um, a sieve set up for um a compression set up for kind of like semi-automatic um just for like normal sieve stuff and normal compressing stuff like this and then we have the heavy compressed stuff as well because at the moment we're kind of using more of the heavy stuff um, and as you can see we've also got some solar panels so I have this one little solar panel um, and these guys aren't too expensive the little white one so if we go solar and we go here he wasn't too expensive he was just wood tiny bit of redstone and then mirror which was just that so not really expensive at all but um, the issue was is that yeah they stored 25,000 RF but their generation um, was zero average per tick at the moment. But um, I think their average is one. I think it is. Um, yeah, generation is one RF per tick. And um, these things compress about um, 20 RFs per tick. So we needed 20 of these just to power one of these. So I was like, okay, well, that's not going to work. Um, so then I look at upgrading these guys. And, and pretty much we ended up having to make pretty much more than 20 of those guys. So then we had to make this guy which required eight of those and I did that twice um no not twice four times so then I got four of these so then I can make this um twice um sorry once so then we can get two of those solar panel threes which are these guys here which now produce uh 425,000 RF in capacity but they generate 32 so they can power that and the next one up is much bigger but then they require four of these guys which means I need to do all that process again and it was a lot of iron and um, a lot of time so I'm not sure uh, when I'm going to do that so I'm not in any hurry um, I didn't place this has got a this has got um, something on it lose something fruit oh he didn't did he oh he did oh what a ledge oh what a ledge okay um, I'll explain this now so at the end over there, you can, um, if we go map, actually, go waypoint, and let's remove that one. Uh, you can see I made a nether portal. So I decided to make a nether portal, and went in, and it kind of bugged out on me. I couldn't see anything. Everything was completely black. I couldn't even see the portal that I went through. Um, and I think it was just my computer being buggy from loading in the first time. Really, I should have reloaded and then reload, reloaded. Um, but instead, I accidentally TP'd in the uh, nether instead and you're not supposed to TB, uh, TP in the nether so uh, that caused a lot of issues and um, ended up me when I spawned in falling to my death in the nether and and that ended up being um, TPing me at this location not at the portal location so I think in the end it's something like it ended up being like 13,000 blocks away <laughs> um, so we just made it redundant we didn't care um, but Fruit tried to get it and he couldn't but he obviously has gone back and got it, which is absolutely amazing because there was actually kind of some good stuff. It's like this sort of stuff, the obsidian axes and that, you know, they have quite a lot of durability in that. Um, 
And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. So thank you very much, um, Fruit, for doing that. You didn't have to, but thank you anyway. Um, as you can see, the texture of this guy's kind of changed again. Um, he kind of goes in and out of multiple different textures. I don't know, but it never lands on the correct one. It's weird, because I do a lot of off-camera work on my laptop when I'm not home. And my laptop has the correct textures for everything, but not this. So, I don't know. I don't know what's up. Then we've got all this to show you. So, chickens happened. Um, we have our normal chickens, and then fruit, I believe, was the one that dropped off a whole bunch of these flint chickens as well as this um, bone white chicken, which gives off um, bone meal. And then this cow spawned on his own. And then I believe pickles here, which is this mushroom, I believe um, fruit also dropped off. Now, what is, what is that? I see something at the end over there. Um, as you can see, we've got the mob drop working. Um, I need to get some more... Uh, hoppers and that to pick up a whole bunch of this stuff because this stuff produces way faster than I want Which is still sometimes survive which is really annoying. I'm gonna have to kind of change the way the base looks and that um, Just to fix it. Ooh, that's golden apple sweet um, Just to fix it up a bit and what is this someone has come down and placed an umbrella by the looks of it And a pumpkin so we've got a beach umbrella which is purple and we've got a pumpkin from Deco Craft. So, yeah, there's no point going through the end. I'm um, not the end, um, the nether. There's uh, really actually absolutely nothing there. Why have we got a dark spot here? That's weird. Um, probably because of the shadow of this above it is causing some sort of weird dark spot. But, um, yeah, so that's really all the stuff I've been doing off camera. I got the, obviously, that mob. Uh, grinder going, got the nether uh, portal going, we've also got um, a farm going now which is great um, and we're going to obviously keep on expanding on all this sort of stuff but um, actually what I really wanted to focus on which because I know I have been waffling on kind of showing you guys everything um, what to do. I need to figure out how to use these as well I think I need to put a block of hay in this and then what it does is that it takes, picks up see the issue in this area is that the chickens are temporary in here, but they keep on dropping all their stuff everywhere, and it's really annoying having to always pick up their stuff every time I walk through. But I believe if you put a block of hay in these, they will pick up anything chickens drop in a 9x9 radius. So since I've got four of them, it should pick up anything dropped in this area, um, and it will just clean them up a bit for me. So I'm working on trying to figure that out. But as I said, I want to fo actually focus on something this episode, and it comes down to these guys. Um, we got basic drawers, so... Ooh, no, nope, I actually... I want that. No, ah, damn, I gave it the whole thing. Give me the whole thing. So, um, yes, we've got this basic drawer. So this will take 32 stacks of one item. Um, this one, and then they have other versions which take... See, this one's a basic drawer, which will take... Um, Holds eight stacks per drawer, and it's a two by two. So this one actually will take four different items. So if you go like that, you go like that, you go like that, and that. So it'll take four different items, and it will take eight stacks of that item um, each. So it works, but um, it doesn't hold enough as what I want it to hold. So pretty much, I'm trying to think of a way of temporarily reducing the amount of chests we got, especially for cobble. Cobble starting to get a bit out of hand. So, um, I'm trying to think of what's the best and cheapest way of doing storage for now. I think in the future we will look at doing um, one of these. Um, so, this sort of system, these um, refined storage system, um, probably in the future, but it's quite expensive. Um, we don't and I want to, when I set it up, I want to have pretty much the best system possible. Um, so then we, we get all these storage disks going because, you know, to make all like these things and that requires all of these, which requires all those, which requires that, which requires this. And then, yeah, it just gets, and then we need to make silicone from quartz. Then how do we get nether quartz? You know, it's all this stuff. It all takes time. So I'm trying to think of a way of doing my storage, which is a neat way of doing it for now and could potentially stay pretty much until the end game. So I'm looking at these uh, drawers and we can actually upgrade the drawers. So this is increases storage by eight times this one. So I believe because when you, um, 
think if I shift and right click, see they have upgrades. So these storage bits, they're not too expensive. So this one here just does by two times and it just takes obsidian. Now I find that actually quite expensive because obsidian takes such a long, annoying amount of time to grow. Um, so, and you could do these ones, which is um, three times, but then I'm thinking, well, why don't we just do straight off the bat eight times? I could do 13 times with emeralds, but emeralds is a bit more rarer. So it might be better to look at doing this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pick him up and we're going to test this out um, today. So what I want to do, so I want to pick that up and I'm going to put this right here. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to make that um, upgrade. Now I know it takes four of these, so I need to make storage templates. So I need to make two of these half dozen. Wait, hold on. Um, does it take any? It can take, take the basic draw by two or it can take the one and a half draw. So I might as well just make the basic draw by two. Um, I know it wastes more, um, more actual stuff, but I think, uh, what was it? It was, uh, if we go here, we go here and I want to make, uh, this. So then we do that. And then we need to get some sticks. So let's just turn that all into sticks. And let's just do you. And then let's get you. And now we've got those two upgrades. Now, if we grab this and grab eight diamonds. So we actually got a bit of um, diamonds at the moment. So as you can see, this is all, all collecting that we've done. We've been getting actually quite a lot of stuff. We're actually getting a lot of everything now. Um, still redstone is a bit low um, for now, but... Uh, I'm pretty happy with diamonds. Diamonds, I've found the easiest way of getting them is doing um, compressed... It's annoying because um, compressed gravel is the most efficient way of getting most of the materials, especially like iron and that. Um, but if you put it through a, a heavy oak sieve or whatever, heavy sieve, but on a diamond mesh, you don't get any of the iron or anything like that. You get like um, the diamonds get uh, more popular, but then you want to put it through the the iron sieve to get more iron so it's kind of annoying because you have to kind of do that's why I always do two stacks because then one stack I can do with the diamond stack one stack I can do for an iron stack pretty much um, but anyway uh, let's make these upgrades and let's see let's um just make one for now because I want to see how this works so I know for okay there we go so that went up a bit so now that's two, limit 256 times by eight. So if we look at this, we go 32 times by one, and then it pretty much does. So let me guess, I'm pretty sure it's, guess, um, it's doing two, um, what do you call it? It's doing 32 times by eight, which gets us that number. So if we go 32 times by eight, I'm trying to figure out how it's getting this number. So 256, yeah. So that's how it's getting that number. So if we go this, we right click, and then we shift and do that, we've got this upgrade. So. If um, we un if we take this upgrade out for starters, and let's grab as much as this as we can, and let's just go like this. And if I go not like that, there's a way of putting it. Yeah, you double click. So um, we got 16 there, and if we do that, and I go there, we go. Now we got 32. So now if I sit here and I try and put that, we can't put any more in. So now if I go with this upgrade and go like that, now I can and it goes up to 60. But then it says cobblestone. Oh yeah, 48 times by 64. So now we can have... Um, how many ever stacks more in this one. So if we just leave this here for now. Nope, don't want to do that. So the annoying thing is, is when you actually want to move... Ah, damn it. I keep on thinking I have to shift click for these guys, but you don't. You just have to double click. So the annoying thing with this guy is when I want to move this, I believe everything comes out of the chest. So we have to be very careful with that. Um... There's a way of making all this drop on the floor. Um, 
But okay, there we go. We've got 71 in there. So this does seem to work. Because the issue at the moment is I've got all this cobble. And really, um, not enough space for it all. So if I do that. So now, how much can this fit? So if we're doing 256 times, um, which is eight times, um, I can't remember the original. So it could take 32 stacks. It originally would take 32 stacks of 64, which was 2,048. So then when you want to times this by eight, it allows you 16,384. So we can still do pretty much um, another 9,000 more blocks. So I think this is how I'm going to focus on my storage. Um, I feel like it is a good way to do it. It means I'm not going to have a huge amount of chest. It means it will be expensive to set this up, but at least um, it won't be too bad. And instead of all these chests um, being here and you can't place them next to each other, you can actually place these guys next to each other, which is the good thing. And uh, actually what would be interesting to find out is how we've got that um, auto cobblestone generator. I wonder if um, the auto cobblestone generator can dump um, straight into one of those. And that's the thing here, if we look at this, okay, and if I go here, and we make another one of those upgrades, so let's actually make this upgrade, and go, so these make 8, so that's 16 times, and these allow you to do 32 times, so emeralds are a bit more rarer, um, and we don't have that many emeralds, I don't think, we've only got 9, so we only could do 2 of these upgrades, but if this is that, can I stack these, I presume? You can. So that's perfect. So it becomes expensive when you want to upgrade them. But really, you only need to do one upgrade because not a lot of things are going to take that many. And see, so you can't take this upgrade because there's too many blocks in here to take it away. So that's really good. I actually really like this system. Um, it can become expensive, I guess. But at the same time, it's actually a decent, decent way to go. So I might look at doing this. Like, um... Because in the end, you can have, like, a room, like a storage room, that we can just have for every block, and we just have, like, everything laid out like that in a way. Um, like the vanilla blocks or something like that. Then you could have maybe the M... Like, in the end, you could have the vanilla blocks all in those, and then you could have that MS system or whatever, that auto storage system for everything else, really. I don't know. Um, we're just going to have to see how we go. But um, I think I'm going to call the episode it here, but I really like the idea of that, because we've got so much cobble. See, we've got pretty much four double chests of cobble in the uh, in that one storage container. So, it'll be interesting to see how these guys work, because see, like, how these guys go, they allow eight stacks. Oh, did I, um, make two sets of the upgrade, did I? I must have. Or did it not use the upgrade set drawers? I don't know, maybe. Um, but these guys, so if I go, no, um, right click, and we do that. Now this does 64 times by eight. Or if I do this, this allows eight. Yeah, because it'll go eight by eight. So then what happens is that these little drawers, by doing one of those, allows it to pretty much be this size, but one of those. So then that's a way of compressing them even more. So then stuff like um, they don't get a huge amount of, you can just put in these. So yeah, that would be um, a good way of doing our storage. And I think that's probably the way I'm going to bend towards doing this. But anyway, I think I waffled on long enough. So I'm going to call the episode here, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys like what we're doing with the base. I'm not sure what we're going to do next episode. Um, probably look at um, either doing some more expansions or maybe even uh, getting this smeltery going because I was getting um, some of this seared brick going. I need to get um, start messing with some of this Tinker's stuff uh, more so we might actually focus on that next episode. But anyway, I'm not sure yet. But anyway guys, that's going to be for it for this episode. So as usual, thank you all for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, see you later guys.